on this story when we come back. We'll hear from a zoo official now forced to take a home. And we're back with the ugly truth, where tonight we're going to be talking about what it is men and women really want in relationships. Now, I've been looking through some books, smart women, foolish choices, <laughs> men who love women who hate them, <laughs> and women hating men who love women who hate loving men. Huh? Billions and billions wasted on psychobabble bullshit. Now listen up, ladies, because I'm only going to say this once, and it is just three little words. <laughs> Men are simple. We cannot be trained. All this men are from Venus crap is a waste of your time and money. You want to be a lonely hag? Then that's fine. Keep reading these stupid books. But if you want a relationship, Here's how you get one. It's called a Stairmaster. Get on it and get skinny and get some trashy lingerie while you're at it. Because at the end of the day, all we're interested in is looks. And no one falls in love with your personality at first sight. We fall in love with your tits and your ass. And we stick around because of what you're willing to do with them. So you want to win a man over, you don't need 10 steps. You need one. And it's called a blowjob. And don't forget to. OK, no. Let's take the first caller. How dare you burn those books? They've held my personal life more than I can say. What's your boyfriend's name, princess? Well, I'm not seeing anyone right my now. My point exactly, Shrek. Next caller, you're on the air. So you're saying that men are incapable of love? Oh, did I burst your little harlequin romance bubble? What? Come on. Well, the only thing you burst is your credibility. Men are completely capable of experiencing love. OK, I'll bite. Go on. Who's the guy? What? The guy. Mr. Wonderful, the one who's so capable of love. Who is he? What's he like? He's smart. He's handsome, but he doesn't know it. He's successful, but in a job that means something. He loves red wine, picnics, classical music. Mm. This is a guy in America, right? I mean, you're not calling from Europe or, or something. He loves dogs, but he's more of a cat person. He never gets up before you on a Sunday morning. Wait a second. I get it. You're a lesbian. What? Well, you must be. I mean, you just described the perfect woman. Uh, why are you so threatened by these qualities? Is it perhaps because you don't possess a single one of them, and that is the real reason why women aren't interested in you? Hmm? OK. OK, I'll give you 100 bucks of my own money to go get this guy and bring him down here. Let me meet him. Well, he's out there somewhere. Wait a second. You're not even dating this guy? No, I'm describing a type. I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> what? You don't even know him? Oh, whoa. OK, now, now I get the picture. Hold, hold on. Oh, you're a dog. What? Well, you must be. Come on, you heard me. I mean, if you were if you were hot, you would be out breaking some, some poor schmuck's heart instead of spending all your time fantasizing about Mr. Wonderful. Face it. You're ugly. I am not ugly. Well, okay, let me help you out here. You might as well face the fact that you're gonna be alone and stop pining away for some fantasy guy you're never gonna get. How how can you possibly Hey, Lassie? The show's called The Ugly Truth. If you can't face it, don't call. That about wraps it up for this evening. I'm Mike you Chadway reminding you that the truth